Well, good morning. What an incredible day for an incredible event. I think everybody here should just give a big round of applause for the fact that we're just here today. This is probably, I can say this because I'm not sure, Director Pereira, be sure to correct me on Monday if I'm wrong. Um, this is probably, I know it's probably the most anticipated grand opening we've ever had because you will hear in a short while from so many uh, amazing people in the community how long this project's taken. And we're here today um, I personally have not been to the building for the last three months because I wanted to walk in and go wow today and all I can tell you is wow, right? It's amazing. Um, my name's Jim Wheeler. I'm the general manager of the Hayward Area Recreation and Park District. And as much as I'd like to stand here today and say, hey, look what we did. Look what I did. And uh, uh, I got hired three years ago as a recreation director. I got to sit in the room with some amazing people from the county and amazing board of directors and amazing staff at Hard, and kind of watch the ground just had been broken and kind of watch the whole thing go on. But um, by no means would I stand here. I'd be disingenuous to tell you, hey, look what you know I was a major part of. Um, but there are so many people here today that were a major part of this. And we want to make sure that we get to all of you today at some point. Um, I really feel like this community center that we're dedicating today represents an even brighter future for the Cherryland community. Um, there's great things to look forward to. If you've been in the building, the community deserves no less than what's here today. And thank you for your patience uh, throughout this process. And we're thrilled to be celebrating the accomplishment today. At this point, I would like to introduce the president of the Hayward Area Recreation and Park District Board of Directors, Louis M. Andrade. Wow, it's finally happened after all these years. <laughs> it's so great to see everyone here. I want to thank you for all coming. Uh, I want to introduce uh, the, my fellow board members on the on the hard board. That's uh, uh, Paul Hodges here, <laughs> Carol Pereira, Rick Hatcher. And I don't see Peter Rosen, but I'm sure he'll be here soon. And I also want to acknowledge a former uh, uh, board member, uh, Manan Jamison, who uh, was part of the process of getting this done and help support the project. Uh, so it was a lot of, a lot of work that the, the board did to get it done. Um, you know, uh, I just want to say personally that uh, I started years ago, in, about 30 years ago, we started the Cherryland Community Association. I, was, I had the honor of being the first president. And uh, one of the things, you know, we made a list at first meeting of all the things Cherryland needed. And, one of the prominent things that was there was a community center, and, and and it just and I, you know, this is like 30 years ago, so over time, you know, we chipped away at it. Later, I became president or a, a board of director member of the Hard District, and you know, we've always had this in our mind, but it's taken so many years and so many twists and turns. Um, but you know, one of the things that's been consistent is the support and the uh, persistence of the Cherryland community and the association, Cherryland Association. And there's been many members that are, uh, you know, come and gone and some are no longer with us, um, but it, they've always been consistent in, in the support of this. And I wanna thank the, the community for that because it's really is what kept the process going. And uh, they've done so much in, in uh, helping design the building and selecting the artwork. Uh, so I want to give a round of applause to the, the chair of the community association, the community in general. Um, so the district is uh, is happy that uh, this that this this has been built. Uh, it's their newest center. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of uh, requests for a similar center in their in their other neighborhoods, but this is kind of a gem, and it's it's just amazing how it all pulled together. It was a collaboration with the county. 
the county uh, you know, bought the property with, through the redevelopment. I'm sure we'll get into that. The park district bought the other parcel that uh, faces uh, the, uh, the Mika State. And it took, a, it took some ingenuity and opportunity and finagling and everything like that to get all this put together and finally realize this. So, um, I don't know, it's, I'm <laughs> kind of choking up because this is kind of, as a public servant, this is what you live for, is to have a, a, a community building uh, realized like this. And I'm really proud that I was here at the start of uh, the process and, and here, um, you know, helping to realize that it, realize the reality of it, getting it done and, and opening it up. It's gonna be a, a major asset to the community, a real destination. Um, you can see all the potential, you can see the classes we can have, the daycare, um, you know, the community uh, facility for, you know, whatever events, quinceañeras, weddings, uh, you know, everything that could happen here. Um, and it's just, it's just a real asset, and, it's, and it feeds right into the Mika State. So um, I'm, I'm really proud and happy this, this is to be part of this. Uh, I think that's all I can say. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Jim Wheeler, and I want to thank you all for being here, and uh, I want you all to uh, enjoy and take advantage of the facility. Here he is running up here. <laughs> but, uh, uh, okay. Thank you, everyone. Forgive me, President Andrade, I tend to wander. Um, Thank you, President Dreddy. The project represents what's become a very, very exciting time for Hard and Alameda County. I'd like to take a moment to uh, recognize the many dignitaries that are here with us today. And if we missed you, I want to apologize in advance. First of all, the Hard Board of Directors, which you met earlier. Director Peter Rosen unfortunately had a conflict and won't be here, but I want to thank the Hard Board of Directors for sure. Um, all the Hard Foundation board members, if you're here, can you raise your hand? Our foundation. Thank you all so much for being here today. Of course, uh, the man with the vision, Supervisor Nate Miley. <laughs> Supervisor William Ch Wilma Chan. John Ave Cole from the Alameda County uh, Board of Education, Office of Education is here today. Uh, I believe Aisha Knowles is here or will be joining us shortly from the Alameda County Office of Education, trustees. If you are a member of the Alameda County Arts Commission, please raise your hand. I want to personally thank you for the amazing artwork in the lobby and we look forward to a long relationship with you, making sure that the public understands the value of art in our communities. Okay, there are so many people here from the Alameda County Library that I wish I could recognize you all, but if you could just wave or stand up, and I don't know. I told you I had not been here for three or four months, and I have to be honest with you, I don't know which wowed me more, the main event room uh, or the community resource library in that room. You guys did an incredible job, far beyond our expectations. Thank you so much. I believe we have City of Hayward Council members here. I know that I saw Council Member Lamnin earlier, Sarah Lamnin. Council Member Angela Andrews. Council Member Alyssa Marquez. And Council Member Mark Salinas. Uh, we have staff, uh, Assembly Member Bill Quirk, are you here? And we have staff, uh, Rosa Rodriguez here today with us. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Senator Bob Wykowski. Ora Loma Board of Directors President uh, Rita Duncan and Director Fred Simon. Today I had the distinct pleasure of meeting the Mayor of Fremont, Lily May. And Lara Calvert from Spectrum Community Services is here with us also today. Thank you. We're grateful. This is not the first time I'd like to say, take a second, look around you. 
It's not Sunday morning and we're not greeting, but I'm going to tell you, take a moment and look around you, please. The people that are here today at this event from your community are the community that we build through people, parks, and programs. And this is a prime example of what can be built through those initiatives. We're incredibly happy to have a GEMMA facility. We're grateful for the people who committed to this and the community that created the building concept and provided support. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge two more people that were critical to me. Uh, Carrie Ely, are you here? Past Superintendent of Recreation for the Hard District. And I know uh, past General Manager John Govea is in the back, in the shade, where I was. All right. And now it gives me distinct pleasure to introduce what I would call the godfather of Cherryland. Please join me in welcoming uh, County Supervisor Nate Miley. So good morning everyone. It's a distinct pleasure to be here this morning. It's still morning, yes. Yeah, like Lou was saying, hopefully I, I won't get choked up because um, you know, when I was initially campaigning to run back in 2000, Lou took me on a tour of Cherryland drove me all around Cherryland. I didn't know what Cherryland was. I didn't have a clue about Cherryland. <sighs> Boy. And I did know, based on what people were telling me, how they felt Cherryland and Ashland, some of the communities out here were, felt like they were second class citizens, not treated well by the county. And to see where we've come since that time is just, it's phenomenal. And I'm just very pleased to have been part of that journey. You know, uh, staff's prepared some remarks that I'll, I'll get to in a minute. <clears throat> but let me just say, you know, hard, since I've been in office, I've been the county supervisor here since 2001, I've worked with hard on a number of projects. We've partnered on a lot of projects. And um, I'm very, very proud to have hard as a partner out here in the unincorporated area, working with uh, the county in my office. And I could go through a litany of projects that we've worked on, this being, you know, the culmination of one of them and others to come. So I'm just very, very thankful to have Hard, and I just want to applaud all the Hard staff, directors, and everyone associated with Hard. I also want to thank Eileen Dalton and her staff. Uh, Eileen's somewhere around here, right there. There's Eileen and Jamie and Marita and others, because Eileen was the director of the county's redevelopment agency redevelopment department and they were tasked with securing the funding and shepherding this project through and you know there were countless 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 meetings on this particular project with the county staff with hard staff with the community um, I you know Eileen might have a record of all the many many meetings that, that were that were held in the, in the history of this project, like Lou said, started with the community. And when my office, working with the community, launched the Eden Air Livability Initiative in 2003, Cherryland, we held a charrette for the unincorporated area with about 400 folks. And this was selected at that charrette to be one of the signature projects that we wanted to get accomplished for the unincorporated area, one of five. Ashland Community Center, Ashland Youth Center was one as well. This project started in 2000, 
six, and we were hoping to deliver it in 2000, by 2013. I was always on Eileen's back about this. Um, and then, you know, our former governor dismantled redevelopment, and we thought, okay, we're not, we don't have the funds for this project any longer, and it didn't, it didn't happen. The Board of Supervisors, the Board of Supervisor Wilma Chan, uh, approved funding um, $90 million, in, of which $22 million was set aside for this project to continue it as a Tier 1 project. And we thought, well, we're, 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 we can see light through the end of the tunnel. But little did we know there'd be additional costs associated with this project, additional monies that needed to be secured, um, and those funds were secured through redevelopment, former redevelopment. Eileen always has a little treasure chest back there holding on to some dollars. Uh, and so we were able to add some additional dollars to the construction uh, costs associated with this facility. And we didn't want to spare any, any pennies when it came to making sure that this was something the community could be proud of. I mean, this is the crown jewel, I think, for Cherry Land. Um, I am just so, so phenomenally pleased to have this for Cherry Land. And I also want to, uh, in addition to acknowledging the community, the redevelopment staff for the county and all the other county staff that have been involved in this, you know, I want to acknowledge my staff. Uh, I have some of my current staff here, but also former staff who have gone on to work for other elected officials and do other great, fantastic things and are still serving the community. <clears throat> Because I like to tell people I'm only as good as the folks I work with, and, and I'm only as good as my staff, and then, and then all of you who we serve and work with over the years. Uh, we can't do this alone. We do this at your behest and with your involvement, and with your direction, your guidance, your support. So I'm thankful for that. So this project is one of the Eatner Livability Initiative projects. It took us, this is now 2021, took us since 2006 to get it accomplished, but we got it accomplished. Yes. <laughs> and I just want to say, when we started this too, as Lou pointed out, it was the community. We actually had the community gather, look at, you know, possibilities, uh, imagine what they would want to have, you know, go through a lot of different meetings with our, our county redevelopment staff, think the possibilities. We went on tours to see other community facilities uh, in the county. We brought in folks to uh, talk to us about community facilities. We saw community facilities uh, virtually as well. Um, you know, we did a lot with the community to try to get a sense of what folks wanted and where would this project be located? Because at one point it was gonna be located down on Hampton near Mission. Uh, because there were a number of locations that were being considered and a number of possibilities. But ultimately, this site was chosen and ultimately this design uh, was chosen. But, you know, there was a, a methodical approach to uh, involving the community and engaging the community in our efforts associated with this project from day one. So that's why it was a collective effort. Uh, this community center was identified as a priority project, as I said, during the Eaton Air Livability Initiative process. Expansion of the neighborhood's infrastructure uh, being a main goal of the Eaton Air Livability Initiative. Many of you are, were involved in that. And I just want to say, too, the reason I'm choked up also, because I haven't seen some of you in person in more than a year. It is really great to see so many of you in person I mean, my goodness, I've seen some of you remotely, I've talked to you remotely, but to see you in the flesh on a gorgeous day is like, oh man, it's just, it, you know, higher power is wonderful, whatever, you know, just want to say that, it's just great. Um, the commitment to the community to build this facility, uh, we used funds but they, as I said, with the dissolution of redevelopment, those funds became in uh, jeopardy. But the project cost was 22 million. But in addition to the 22 million, 
redevelopment money that we put into this project. Over the years, we've done other things. As Lou pointed out, we delivered on sidewalks. Uh, sidewalks out here, I know uh, Bob Campisi told me, you know, God, God rest his soul, uh, you know, he never thought he'd see sidewalks in Turnland. We, we delivered on sidewalks, that was $20 million of sidewalk improvements out here in Cherry Land. We built a new, the first new fire station in the county in more than 40 years. It's here in Cherry Land. We built a new fire station, station number 23, completed in 2017. That was a $9 million project. We're undergrounding utilities on Mission Boulevard, another $30 million project. And as some of you know, we're working on the Meek, Meeklin Avenue streetscape. That's a $7 million project. So all these projects were to the benefit of Cherryland because I was bound and determined, and the county staff know this, because I'm on them about this always, we want to show respect to the citizens of Cherryland, the unincorporated area. We want them to, un to understand the county sees them, hears them, and wants to serve them. Um, and if you were in the city, we want to make sure we're treating you as well as you might be treated if you were in a, in a, in a city. I've already recognized uh, our partnership with HARD. HARD, we've tapped them to manage the facility. They've worked with us on the design. As has been pointed out, the county purchased this property and um, we're going to continue to be engaged in ensuring that uh, this property uh, stands the light of day. I mean, the parking lot was expanded to accommodate more guests and visitors to have a uh, you know, wedding in the park, come over here and have a reception in the, in the community center. Uh, it's just so many things that this, I think this facility will, will provide over time. So I just want to, once again, just thank, thank the Cherryland community for your patience, your perseverance, the fact that you held us accountable. Sometimes these things aren't sprints, they're marathons. But like Lou said, you know, we can get it done, we can make it happen, and as public servants, it's always great to be at these type of, uh, of um, events, because nobody's screaming and yelling at you. Everybody's happy and joyous. Uh, and it might have taken us a long time, but, but we made it happen. So I, I want to thank you all. I, wanna, I know there's a few folks like Michael's here from the Eden Area MAC. You know, we created an Eden Area Municipal Advisory Council for this area as well. So there's a lot of good things have happened. And uh, as I said, I'm just really happy to have been along for the journey. And I want to once again recognize and thank both my current staff, former staff, and everyone else who helped us make this reality. And I could say the best is yet to come, but I don't want to make that promise or commitment. So thank you all. Hi, everybody. I'm Eileen Dalton. I work for the Alameda County Community Development Agency, and I'm here today on behalf of Chris Bazar, our executive director. And I'm really thrilled that he's not here, so I get to speak because this is <laughs> sorry, Chris. Um, this is a special project, and and I'm surprised at how choked up I am too today because this is pretty amazing. Um, part. I'd like to acknowledge um, the Cherryland community for giving our department the direction and the vision. The best part of this job is getting, getting some excited community members, giving us a vision, actually having money to, to, to deliver it, and then doing that, and here we are today. It's, it's, it's such a fulfilling job. I'd encourage anyone who's looking, whose kids looking to go into public service to think about that, because this is an amazing job. I really want to acknowledge um, two people from CDA, Lane Bailey and Marita Horelic, who are here today, who are both retired but can't stay away. Um, Lane was my boss for many years, and the most amazing boss and coworker who's stuck with the agency as a retired 
staff person who shepherded this project through and without Lane's calm, collected, and very tenacious ability to keep all the cats herded in one direction, we wouldn't be here today. I really um, think of this project, we're, we specialize in economic development and public-private partnerships, and this partnership has been really a public-public-public partnership of the best kind. We have this amazing partner with HARD, with our other county departments, with our general services agency, the Arts Commission and the library, all coming together to create this beautiful project. And um, we're especially grateful for the County Board of Supervisors who, um, at a time when everything was falling apart, um, pulled together a policy that kept your local dollars for, for Cherryland and saved this project. So I'd like to thank you know, Supervisor Miley and Supervisor Wilma Chan and our County Administrator, Susan Muranishi, for supporting the effort to keep those dollars locally because this community had already designed and developed this project and we didn't want to see that go away but it was on behalf of this community that those dollars were saved so thank you um, this has been a long project as nate mentioned started in 2006 and it started with bus tours and clipboards and votes and where is it going to be how's it going to be we hired in 2011 believe it or not a wonderful architecture firm uh, Nolan Tam, who designed this beautiful building. Is Nolan Tam here? There they are. Yay. Thank you, Nolan Tam, for sticking with. I don't, this, you'll have to tell us later if this is a record of how long you've worked on a project. But thank you for your perseverance, because this really um, was a long project. And everything's been said, so I just want to th say thank you to the community for hanging in here. I really miss our, I felt like weekly meetings with HARD. What great partners. We, we had so much fun doing this hard work. All of the, the drama that came along with this project, as all of you know, changes that happened, were, were met with teamwork, enthusiasm, and the can-do spirit to get the project completed. And it's just amazing to look around and see what we have here at this space today. So thank you all. And I'd like to now introduce our interim GSA director, Kimberly Gassaway, who is an important Part, or part of the team because her folks delivered the project and made this happen. So Kimberly, thank you. Good afternoon. As everyone has said, what a beautiful day in a beautiful place with beautiful people. So I'd like to do some highlights on this facility and just say um, I have been a part of this project from the beginning when I was in GSA and have met many of the partners from the county and the hard and, and just as proud as everyone of what we've delivered. So the community center is a 17,500 square foot facility where community members of all ages can come together and build um, connections, participate in enriching cultural events, develop life skills, and just have fun. You've noticed there are three multi-purpose rooms for activities and a classroom for pre-K activities. There's a satellite Alameda library. If you haven't been in there, it's extremely amazing with a reading and computer room and large community room that will operate right behind us, a catering kitchen where events can take place with an adjoining courtyard and it can accommodate up to 250 people. The county constructed and owns the facility, it has mentioned, while hard manages and operates the building. There are many sustainability features that the ARG board is committed to in our community. This building earned sustainable rating of gold in leadership in energy and environmental design. It was built with infrastructure for future electric charging stations and building roof design to support future solar panels. It was designed with water efficient. You'll look around at all the uh, plants, which is bay friendly planning. There's high energy roof and wall panels. The project parcel was clean to the highest standards of the state of California, addressing any historical agricultural uses. And there's both on-site and off-site parking lots that are designed to improve storm water runoff by the, as required by the state of California Clean Water Board. You've heard several times about the beautiful art around us, and I'm gonna just like to recognize Rachel Osajima, our director of the Alameda County Arts Commission. And, and our board is very committed to promoting art in the community as a vital aspect of community engagement. 
There are special highlights of the building as you hopefully have gotten to tour. There's a lovely flyer in the back if you'd like to know more information about the different art. But um, five local artists were commissioned to make new public artwork for this center. This artwork is inspired by Cherryland's community history and agricultural and gardens. And the community participated in selecting the artists through ext inst uh, sorry, extensive engagement. There are unique designs of cherry blossoms incorporated into the walkways. As you walk past here, you'll see the cherry blossoms and they put shadows on the wall. And this was created by Deborah Stuckhold. And throughout the building, you will see 10 framed artworks, which were created by four lo local artists. Please take time to look at these and the commitment to art in this center. Funding for the public arts is through a uh, commitment that our Board of Supervisors make on every construction project for as a public art ordinance and is managed by the Art Commission. Thank you, Rachel. There's also the Alameda County Library Annex. What a great thing to have next to your community center to provide local service to one of our most underserved areas of the county, reaching families who are unable to access the Castro Valley and San Lorenzo facilities. The, this library space will focus on serving Sp Spanish-speaking community members with Spanish-speaking staff, bilingual programs, and a collection consisting of 50% of the materials in Spanish. The Alameda County Library has a successful history of partnership with HARD and collaborating in the Cherryland Community Center will allow us to extend that partnership both inside and outside of the building. Our community partners include the Cherryland Community Association, Padre Unidos, and Eden United Church of Christ. Finally, I would like to thank many people on the GSA team, a few, uh, two of them, former project managers, Brian Latsko, where are you, Brian, and Monty Boyd, and both who now work for HARD. I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> so I'm afraid to introduce our third project manager on the project in the event he's gonna get recruited. So that's Dave Barbara. And then Keith Rowan, our Deputy Director of GSA, is also here today. We are very uh, proud at GSA to have been part of this amazing project for this community. Thank you. I'm going to introduce Jim back to finish with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, so at this point, I was going to talk very briefly about Hard's role in the project because I know it's absolutely melting Sahara Desert hot here. Go figure, middle October. You can't even tell anymore what's going to happen in tour weather. Um, we, we at Hard are proud to be the end users of this building. We can't thank the county and everybody involved enough for their commitment, but more so your belief in us to be able to operate this building to the standard that will, uh, is commensurate with what it is. We really appreciate that trust. The public trust is important to us at Hard, and this is a sample of you trusting us to do this. So thank you very much, Alameda County. Programming-wise, hopefully you got a tour of the building. Uh, there's an incredible dance room. We had some incredible uh, line dancing going on. Um, the the step up, the step hard people in the aerobics room, the pre-K room. Um, which could be used for school age programs and pre-K programs. And of course, uh, the incredible uh, main event hall, which I have to thank Rick Seriani and Splurge Catering for the incredible job <laughs> that they always do for us and for making that room look so incredible. Uh, it's our first basic marketing piece for the building. So if you go in there, look around and go, wow, I could have my event here too. Uh, program registration area, lobby, central area, art gallery is incredible. And of course, as I spoke earlier, the first thing I talked about and probably the last thing I'll talk about is the incredible library annex. It's just, it's amazing that space and what it brings to the community. Um, we're excited to add this to a, a list of uh, community centers that we have in the unincorporated area. Of course, the Kennedy Aiken Senior and Community Center dual center, community and seniors, one building, big vision, beautiful building. The soon to be renovated San Lorenzo Community Center, I'm not sure if you're aware, but that building will also be renovated in the very near future with our 2016 Measure F1 bond that we thank you all so much for passing. You can see the results of it all around you, I hope, daily. 
Castro Valley Community Center, which will also get a renovation in the near future, and of course the San Felipe Community Center. Uh, finally, I want to thank again some people that's very important for me to thank. I want to thank the staff. Uh, I think this is, I really would be remiss if we did not thank Megan Tiernan, who is our Director of Capital Planning and Development. <laughs> Last week, Megan and I meet actually twice a week because there's so much going on with the bond projects. And Megan, currently her staff of nine are managing about 34 projects all at once. So we're really moving forward with the money you entrusted us with. Uh, Brian Lasko, who Kimberly reminded me we kind of stole from the county this morning when I first met her for the first time. <laughs> and I laughed and said, I'm so sorry, but we are so glad to have Brian as our Assistant Director of Capital and Planning. I really have to thank my predecessor who actually recruited me from San Francisco to come to HARD, uh, former general manager Paul McCreary. And again, I already recognized former general manager John Gavea, but also park superintendent or recreation superintendent Kerry Ely and our past park superintendent Larry Laporte, who had a ton to do with this also. Kerry. I've known you for 30 years in Parks and Rec when you got hired in Oakland a million years ago to run all the pools. Uh, your vision and your input for what ended up in this rec center is amazing. So thank you. Okay. I have two more people to thank. The first people I need to thank, and I'm going to say this really loudly, I want to thank the neighbors. Neighbors, what you have put up with for the last two and a half years, you deserve a medal. And if you get a hold of me, I'll take you to lunch and get to know you even better than we have through the process. I know Brian Lasko, our construction managers, they all know you very well. And we appreciate your patience and hopefully the fence is high enough, but the gates are open enough for you. Okay. This is the hard part for me. When I first got hired, I said, we could have more people on that citizen advisory committee, I bet, if we just went around and poked around. And uh, when I started poking around, um, I met a lot of important people in the community, and I learned about some of our amazing community associations. Uh, one of the leading examples is the Cherryland Community Association. And I have to say that then I met my, my good friend, and I will call her a friend even though it's, she's more of an associate probably and a more professional Jim Wheeler, but um, Cindy Torres, you are my hero. You, you have the courage to say what needs to be said sometimes when people maybe don't want to hear it but need to hear it. You advocate for everybody. You are a tireless community volunteer that gives and gives and gives. You have your fingers on the pulse, and all I need to do is look around at all the people nodding their heads right now. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce the president of the Citizen Advisory Committee for the Hayward Area Recreation and Park District and the president of the Cherryland Community Association, Cindy Torres. Jim's always stealing my lines because he's my personal hero. <laughs> welcome everyone to Cherryland. I am happy to let you know that you are in a welcoming, diverse community that is truly the heart of the Eden area. The community that I love and am proud to call home. <sighs> the Mika State Mansion has been the iconic crown jewel and landmark for Cherryland for more than a century. I will always be grateful to Hard for saving the mansion and the surrounding grounds to preserve a part of the recent agricultural her heritage of the community. But now we have a new state-of-the-art Cherryland Community Center that will now be the new focal point for our neighborhood, and rightfully so, because it was us, our community, that created it. And are making history. 
It will act as a beacon, drawing our residents and community groups together under one roof for the first time. This new center will afford us the opportunity to connect and be a part of an engaging community, which unites us, gives us a sense of belonging, supports resiliency, and makes us feel safe and secure. I want to thank Lou Andrade, the first president of the Cherryland Community Association, and all of the founding members. Their foresight in bringing us together to address deficiencies and resolutions such as the Neighborhood Preservation Ordinance helped maintain Cherryland's character. I also want to thank our current board members for continuing to maintain the value of our organization while transitioning our focus to advocating for an equitable and inclusive community within Eden area. And I'd like to acknowledge them that are here today. Michael Freed, an artist and retired teacher, who is also on the Artist Selection Committee for this center. Laura Andrade, president of Padres Unidas, and a fierce, a fierce and tireless advocate for Cherryland. Marianne Davis, a teacher and artist at San Lorenzo High School. And Ruth and Mike Barada, who unfortunately are not able to be here today. We give our heartfelt gratitude to Supervisor Nate Miley for his creation of the Eli process, whereby the idea of this project began and for consistently and tirelessly being its champion. I cannot thank you enough. And to the Community Development Agency, General Services Agency, and all of the great partnerships that came together to realize this day, we thank all of you for not only listening, but hearing the wants and the needs of our community and making substantial investments demonstrating recognition of our value. The strengths of the partnerships involved in this project are evident and we are beyond excited to welcome HARD to our neighborhood. We appreciate the ongoing extra effort made to understand the programming that would best benefit the needs of our specific community and the scholarships which they have already made accessible. Since the CCA has been a vagabond for many years, having to move to various venues to hold board and general community meetings in people's homes, it is especially exciting that we now have a permanent home to regularly meet and gather. We thank HARD for their great partnership with CCA by providing their support of the creation of events that benefit our community, and we look forward to many more collaborative celebrations. Speaking of celebrations, this reminds me of another celebration which I am still very grateful that happened two years ago, when my hero Jim Wheeler came into my life and he made the um, 150th anniversary celebration of the Nika State happen. And hard gifted Cherryland with that wonderful commemoration complete with horse and wagon rides, um, Jim with the apple cart, and um, the special touch of the red lanterns reminiscent of the wedding of William Meek's daughter provided by the one and only Rick Siriano. Thank you again to everyone who has contributed to bringing this beautiful facility to Cherryland and for making this glorious day possible. And if you have not been here before and if you have not seen the Meek Estate, Mansion. It will be open by the Haas um, staff and volunteers until 2 o'clock this afternoon right across the street. And um, I'm also proud to say that um, Hard painted the mansion a few years ago, after many years. Um, and they recently painted the inside of the first floor, and we have some new furnishings that belong to me. So please go over and visit. Thank you for being here today. Killed it. Cindy always worries about what she's going to say and whatever, and she's always amazing. All right, so we're going to cut, we're going to wrap this up right now. Yeah, I, I have no closing remarks. I would like to invite all of the electeds here today to come up. We're going to cut this ribbon, open this building, and we're going to go forward in the most amazing community center that the district's seen in many, many years.